Today I'm with Quara Talane, or Q as she goes by as well, who's a Strategy Finishing School member and has a great story about how motherhood was one of the changing moments for her to get into strategy. So Q, thank you so much for joining me. And I would love to hear the story as a new parent myself, I'd love to hear the story of how you moved in transition to into strategy and around parenthood as well. Well, hi everyone. Um, Julian, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, my story. So I started out as an account manager at Social Clinic. At the time, it was a social media startup in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. And my role involved a lot of legwork. You know, every meeting at that point was an in-person meeting. There were a lot of factory visits involved. And I found myself stuck in the Jeddah traffic in the Saudi Arabian heat, which was very difficult. I was already suffering from motion sickness. So I found it really difficult to be in a moving car for a long period of time. But then I got pregnant and uh, with pregnancy came really bad morning sickness. And I was finding it really impossible to go to client offices and be stuck in traffic for a long period of time. And and so I thought, you know, this is it. I'm going to be probably one of those women who take a career break because of pregnancy. So I went and I spoke to my, my boss and he suggested a transition to strategy, to a more cerebral role, one that did not involve as much legwork and that would allow me to sit in the office and think more and not have to go out as much. So that's how I entered strategy. It was this unexpected twist in my life that not only kept me professionally afloat during pregnancy, but also allowed me to navigate the wild ride that's motherhood. The strategy department was started and I was only able to work for a few months before I had to go and deliver. Um, but I came back after three months after my mat leave was over and I came back with my baby to the office. And for the next two years, I brought my baby to the office every single day. Over the next two years, I learned the ins and outs of strategy while my baby learned how to walk right in that office. I wow. celebrated career milestones while my baby celebrated development milestones. It was amazing. And it's because of the support of my amazing bosses in that company, my colleagues, you know, I had like 30 sets of hands that were able to look after my baby while I, you know, if I was in a, in a pitch meeting, I, I remember um, attending brainstorming sessions and one-on-one -on -one meetings with my manager with my baby in my arm and and that company was amazing they made the whole transition so beautiful for me and yeah instead of a forced career break i was able to discover myself as a strategist and and thrive as a new mom i would love to hear about what was the hardest part about moving from accounts to strategy what did you find the hardest part of that transition I think it was that lack of confidence because it was my boss who said that, you know, he was going to start a strategy department and he thought I was a, a great fit. I did not have confidence in my strategic chops. You talk about it so often on in the course, on, on your on your LinkedIn as well. The imposter syndrome was real. I think I'd lost perspective at that point. I was also because of impending motherhood as well. I just felt that, you know, maybe Maybe I, I should take a break. Maybe the, a break would be good for me. Maybe I'll, I don't have what it takes. So it was a lot of misplaced, I guess, doubt in my own abilities that I feel was the hardest thing for me to navigate. So what would your advice be to other women who are thinking about making that career change around motherhood as well? I think um, this is an advice that I am going to apply to myself this year as well, and that is to not second guess yourself. I think as as mothers, we have a tendency of not thinking of ourselves very highly. You know, we are always second guessing our abilities as, as moms. There's so much unsolicited advice out there that you feel like you're doing something wrong. But I think if anything, don't second guess yourself. If you have a good support system around you, if you can develop that around you, I think that can really help in, in transitioning to either a career in strategy or, or any other career. I think that's really important. And you have to give yourself grace, give yourself some grace and, and trust your abilities that if you can go through motherhood, I think you can go through anything. I even notice now being a new father, it's just like, oh my God, you are so much more efficient with your time because it's so limited. Those windows are so limited. You've kind of got to really, there's no procrastination when it comes to strategy work now for myself. And would love to hear about your strategy finishing school experience. How did you find out about the course and then how has it helped you so far? So I actually moved to Canada uh, from Saudi Arabia uh, December 2020 in the middle of lockdowns. 
And I had a small stint at a company, but after that, I I found a role as a brand strategist in uh, at Dentsu Creative in in Canada. My manager is an SFS member. He's the one who introduced me to you, to the course, to the school. He spoke very highly of you, and he told me how invaluable the course had been for his strategy career. And you know, he knew at that point that I was struggling. um with my confidence as well so he basically advised and i knew that i wanted to brush up on my strategy fundamentals but at the same time i wanted to learn new skills that would you know help me progress further in my career so that's how i registered for strategy finishing school and what's been the biggest impact so far what what were the kind of light bulb moments for you going through the course I think the course has been really helpful for me. I'm someone who thrives with structure, so the structured learning path has made the course really easy for me. You know, the fact that I'm able to learn at my own pace given the hectic life I I have as a mom and as a as a strategist at Dentsu as well. The nature of the course, the short videos, they're not very overwhelming, you know, they're you include a lot of really great real-world examples. I think those have really helped me understand things better. I think one thing that really stands out to me I have particularly enjoyed the insights portion of the course I I learned a lot of new things especially I think you call it the 10 minute how to come up with a, an insight in 10 minutes I found yeah. that invaluable you know because I'm often faced with very tight deadlines as as strategists normally do and to come up with an insight to have like some kind of a process to come up with an insight and then how you talk about improving that insight statement with visual words with analogies adding tension and then taking it shopping i think that's such good advice because i find it that i'm doing it alone and taking it shopping was such good advice yeah so those are some i feel some of my my highlights for the course also i think chat gpt prompts those are uh, those are really helpful as well yeah it's great uh, yeah i've found it amazing it's something new that i added to the course last year but kind of evolving as the role of strategy evolves has been exciting even for me um as a teacher and a, a forever student to learn those pieces. Thank you so much Q for your insight and hopefully it's inspiration for other mothers who are making looking at making that career change that strategy is a good option. It's such a great story that you've got so hopefully it inspires others. Thank you so much. I I do want to take this opportunity to actually thank you face to face for for putting this course together for strategists like me and you're helping a lot of people so thank you so much uh, and thank you for having me